Hi ladies and gentlemen and welcome to IT Snippets. Today we're going to back up our drivers and we're going to download our patches in order to slipstream Windows 21H2. So let's get started. Okay, to back up our drivers, what we need to do is we need to open PowerShell as an admin. So right click your taskbar, select PowerShell as admin and click yes when user account control kicks in. Okay, when that comes up, we want to use export dash windows driver command or command lit. So export dash windows driver space dash online, meaning the ones currently in use, space dash destination. And in my case, I'm saving them to a folder called drivers on my D drive. So you've just put the path to that, whether it's on your C code slash temp slash drivers or whatever. So I'll hit return and give that a moment and it'll back up my drivers. And just like that, my drivers should be backed up. And if I look at my decon slash drivers folder, there's a list of driver folders that have been backed up. So that looks like it was successful. So we can close this down. And what we want to do now is we want to run NT Lite. So click on our start bar, click on NT Lite and say yes when user account control kicks in. Interesting, this pop-up has never happened to me before. So limited non-commercial use it'll be because at the moment I'm not making any money on this. So I'll select that and click OK. So before we continue any further, we have to extract our Windows 10 image into a folder that we can edit. So if you followed the previous tutorial, our Windows 10 image was saved to our downloads folder. So what we can do is we can double click that and it will mount it. Just expand this a little bit for you. OK, and now we can click in here and do Control A to select everything and Control C to copy and then click on our D drive. We will right click and do new folder and we'll call this 21H2 slip and hit return and hit return again to go into the folder. Now we can right click and paste and give that a moment to copy the Windows files across. Okay, now that that's been extracted, we can go back into NT Lite. We can click add up here and image directory. And then we can point that to our D drive and to 21H1 slip and click select folder. And as you can see, that's opened up. So in this case, we were working on Windows 10 Pro. So here it's here. This also works perfectly using the same steps for Windows 11, for those of you who are curious of that. And we simply double click Windows 10 Pro. And that says convert the image to a standard WIM format. Current image will be replaced after conversion back up manually before this step. So the answer to that is yes. A ESD is a compressed version of a WIM. WIMs are editable, ESDs generally aren't, so it's going to have to convert that over. So if we click OK, and we'll give that a while to actually extract. Obviously, if you're using the education version of Windows 10 or the home version of Windows 10, then you would select the version that you require. OK, so that's complete. And we have a do not show this again warning pop up so click on do not show this in the future and click OK. I believe these are not in the professional version of this, only in the free version. So it's now going to try and unpack that image that it's just loaded up. OK and that's our image ready and imported so that we can continue using it and slipstream all we require into it. If you like this video give it a like, if you dislike this video give it a dislike too. If you get feedback in this or any other videos or suggestions for videos you believe we should do in the future then please let us know in the comments below and most of all thank you for watching.